So what we're doing now is we're measuring the recesses. Uh, if you just come over here with the camera, Chris, we're measuring down these recesses onto these level here where we are going to take measurements with the depth gauge on that and make a note of those. So I'm just starting off with the input one. So this is a similar technique as before. Um, we're just taking measurements down into the depth of the cover uh, at a couple of different points and uh, making an average reading uh, for each shaft bearing um, aperture. And uh, this is usually a bit easier to do than the um, uh, taking the bearing readings. This is a bit more straightforward and not quite as fiddly. Uh, so take several readings, make a note of them, and uh, find out what the average is. So, and the depth of the input is 15.31 millimetres. And that's pretty consistent. These are usually a bit easier to get a consistent measurements of. Yeah, the same again. Check that once more. Yeah, fifteen point three one again. So we won't go any further with that one. Next, we do the counter shaft one, which is this one. These are usually always that little bit deeper than the other, than the other two because you've got um, to take into consideration a bearing shield at each end of the shaft, or this end of the shaft anyway. So here we're getting a reading of 15.5 seven three fifteen point seven three we've uh, we've got to measure the thickness of this um, bearing shield and enter that into the equation and that is one point zero three millimeters So there's our calculations for uh, this particular cover and um, so now we're going to just get the right shims out and uh, set it all up. Right so it always pays to have a bag of shims. Uh, I've accumulated a few over the years so uh, I'm just going to start finding some shims. Now. Right we're um, just talking the cover up now to nine Newton meters. Sorry, not nine newton meters, eight newton meters. It's actually between seven and nine newton meters. So the flange has uh, been lubricated, the seal lip has been lubricated. I'm just sitting that on there. Note which way round the seal goes on these. It's not the way you'd expect it to be. Just going to torque up this um, uh, output shaft flange nut. Uh, it's got to be done up to 220 newton meters.
and then I'll leave that overnight and I'll come and check it again in the morning or a few hours later.